guys. Welcome back to Jean's Jean's Kitchen. Today, I will be making meatloaf. Okay? I hope everyone is doing well out there today. For the ingredients, we have ground beef. We have some meatloaf seasoning mix from Food Lion. We have three eggs, some minced garlic, some green peppers and onions. Oh, right over here, we have some barbecue sauce. And your secret ingredient is your stuffing mix. We don't use breadcrumbs anymore. Stuffing mix, we got two different kinds. We have the chicken flavor by the Food Lion brand, and then we have stovetop uh, savory herbs. All right, guys, so I'm just melting down some butter in a skillet. We're going to add in our green peppers and our onions, and we're just going to saute them for a few minutes. Um, I'm making a hole right here. I'm going to add in a little bit of my minced garlic, and I'm just going to saute that down for a little bit. Um, you don't have to really worry about cooking it till it's like translucent because it's going to finish cooking in the oven. So they start to sweat a little and we're going to set that to the side to cool a little bit and we're going to continue on now normally i mix in like a large mixing bowl but i didn't have one um so i'm just mixing everything up in this large aluminum pan and right here i'm just adding in all of my ground beef and i believe i have about four pounds of ground beef and those are my seasoning packs um, so right now I'm just um, breaking the meat apart and we're going to add, basically just dump everything in and just mix, mix, mix. I'm starting off with one pack of the seasoning mix. Then we're going to add in our green pepper, onions, and our garlic. And now I'm sprinkling some cheese. Normally I grate my own cheese, but I didn't have any cheese to grate. And you can use any type of cheese you want. That is the Wisconsin Extra Sharp Cheddar. And we're gonna add in our eggs one at a time, three in total. And I have gloves on because I have one nails. Then we're just gonna mix, mix, mix. This is the key. Um, you just wanna mix everything in really, really, really well. And now I'm adding in my second pack of seasoning mix. And now we're adding in our one bag of our stuffing mix. And now I'm adding in some milk. I started off with like maybe a half a cup. And I'm just mixing that in. I'm gonna end up adding some more um, a little bit later for, but for right now I'm just adding in that um, half a cup. And like I said, the key is to mix, mix, mix. Now normally I add in some Slap Your Mama, but we didn't have any, so right now I'm just sprinkling in just a little bit of seasoning salt. I think, I believe it might have been a half a teaspoon of um, seasoning salt, maybe a tablespoon. I didn't measure, but I added a little bit of that in, and we're mixing some more. I'm adding a little bit more milk. every like piece of meat to be like seasoned. So right here we have a little bit of our sweet honey barbecue sauce. I'm just adding a little bit of that. And I also added some ketchup. Um, I don't know what happened to that clip, but I also added some ketchup in as well. And we're just mixing all that in. Mix, mix. And it was kind of hard to do because the pan kept sliding. So now we got everything mixed and well incorporated. So I'm transferring it to a clean aluminum pan. And here I am just molding it 
into the shape of a loaf. And here it is guys, it's all shaped. And this is a better look. And it's about to go into an oven at 350 degrees. My oven was preheated. So now our meatloaf is in the oven. We are working on our sauce. So I'm just melting some butter in a pot or you can use a saucepan, it's up to you. We're gonna add in some sweet honey barbecue sauce. And we're gonna add in some of that sweet brown sugar barbecue sauce. And we're gonna add in a lot of ketchup. And mix, mix, stir, stir, stir. Now I'm also adding in some honey just to sweeten things up because I did not use sugar. So we're just gonna mix all of that up. So the meatloaf has been in for about an hour. I took it out the oven to drain all that grease. So now I'm just cutting um, some pretty nice slices. Um, this is going back in the oven for like another 15 to 20 minutes. It's been in for an hour and I drained the grease. I cut mine beforehand because I like, because I'm about to pour the sauce on, that's what I'm about to do. But I like the sauce to get down like in between like the slices so that's why I slice before I put the sauce on so I'm gonna pour that sauce up there your glaze whatever you want to call it and it's gonna get all down into the meatloaf and like I said I am putting this back in the oven for about another 15 to 20 minutes And this is how it looks coming out. It is extremely hot, it's bubbling. But here it is, it is finished. The most delicious, moist, just, it is so flavorful. And this is it. The quickest, easiest, most delicious meatloaf ever. Please try it out, you guys, and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, bye.